Hello guys, Retail here. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how you can uh, update your mods and even make mods. So, you have your project file open with everything, uh, all the textures that you've made and uploaded, tested in game. It was perfectly. Next step is making a mod. So, you literally go to file, export to mod, then you add. Uh, the title you want, you want the author. I guess I should add a real title. So we made Chelsea Fantasy Kids. Author is me or retail category kids version 0.1. If you want, you can uh, use picture, not really necessary, but I do. It has to be 128 by 128 if you want to use it. Then describe your mod. This is a kit made for tutorial purpose. So we're gonna copy that because we're gonna have the same name. We go save. Then we go to a folder, mod, save it there. Then this is really important. After you save the mod, you have to save your project file again. Save. Otherwise, next time you update and you go export the mod, this wouldn't be here. So you save the mod and then say next time next uh, FIFA update is here. Kits per se, you don't really have to update. Or the kits mod, you don't really have to update. Uh, but why you should is because only thing yeah, that won't work are mini kits because mini kits won't show the one you made because mini kits are found in legacy files and legacy files get updated no every FIFA update so you have to update it if you want mini kits to show as well but it's like really simple it takes you like a minute to update the mod so as normally you update the FIFA via origin and then you open the game I suppose most of you know this already then you open first the editor you create the SDK profile and the, the next step is uh, once you're done with all that you file you open you open your pro you open your project file and literally it's same way as making the mod you export the mod because new updates you will change the version 0.2 you save, you literally just like override the old mod, you file, save project file again, and that's it, simple as that. So it's like not hard whatsoever. I really get a lot of uh, the times question like this, and you see it's really simple. And I mean, sure it doesn't take a long time, but if you're a kit maker like myself, I have over 50 kits made already, so yeah it's it will like take me a couple of hours for sure to uh, update all my kits all the time so i really don't do it what i do instead is i uh, put my project file every single time so people can do it themselves and as you see it's super easy but if you still don't understand have any questions ask here on or on my server and thanks for watching i suppose don't forget to like share and subscribe to me Follow me on Twitch and uh, Twitter. And if you have any ideas for the next tutorial I should be making after I do all of this, you can let me know. So I guess I did all this. So one more left that I'm gonna do now until take maybe a break from making videos is adding extra kit. So yeah. Let me know in the comments and I'll make it if I know how. Thanks for watching and bye bye.